fixing the Bosch Boxer Combi. This is a CSB 350-2 or more importantly the 0603147037. I just happened to find this drill with a bunch of masonry drill bits dumped on the street just as I was walking by. And since I just happened to need some masonry drills I just grabbed the lot. The drill worked, it's just that the output shaft was very wobbly. This drill is so old it's not worth anything, but it came in handy when I was drilling something at home when my other drill was at a different location. But I figured if I can fix it on the cheap, i.e. less than 10 bucks, I'll keep it as a spare for emergencies. I cracked it open, but when I checked the output shaft bearing it seemed alright. I put it back together and that's when I noticed the shaft flogging around on the inner bearing. That's when I noticed it's just a big hole with no bearing. This is weird, because when I opened it up the screws cracked like it would never been opened before or at least not for a very long time. And when I looked around inside, I couldn't find much of anything of what was in there. All I found in there was this half round thing that looked like a ferrite bead. And it's kind of the right dimensions if it's been flogged open. If this is the bearing, it must be something like a cast iron bush. Measuring the shaft or about 2,000 under 8 mil or 0.05 mil. To measure a bore with a telescopic, you put it in an angle, open it up, then nip the lock up again, and then just rock it to the other side. It's measuring about 0.005 under 12 mil. I'm not sure about the width, but 7.5 mil looks like it'll clear everything. There's a kind of shadow, like the bearing didn't go all the way to the back, but so long as it's between here and here, 7.5 mil, it should be fine. I then found this bronze bush on AliExpress, and it's 8 mil ID, 12 mil OD, and 12 mil long, which I can cut down. I didn't know at the time, but from the remnants, I was expecting a bushing. But after I fixed the thing, I found a parts catalogue. Even though this says CSB 400-2, this number was the same. It does have CSB 350-2 here. And if you zoom into the output shaft, there is a bearing here, number 22. And if you hover over the 22, you get needle roller bearing 8mm diameter by 8mm. And if you go on alley, there are needle bearings 8mm by 12mm by 8mm. The trouble with needle bearings is, it is what it is. And that means if it doesn't fit, you can't just polish it to size to make it fit. Either way, I think mine's an older version with a bush, so I'm kind of sticking with that. I don't have a hole gauge to measure the bore of the bush, but it feels about right. It needs to be a bit loose because it'll crush when it's pressed in. The bearings measure 0.04mm bigger than 12mm, and 2000 too much press for such a small diameter into something so brittle as that die cast. So I used the bolt as a mandrel and put it in a drill and then polished it down to 1000 press. I used the bolt as a mandrel as a guide to keep it square and hammered it in but I noticed it was just too tight at one thou. Back to more polishing, and I made it tapered, one to one fit at the front and half a thou at the back. That way it guides itself. A bit of grease so it doesn't gall, and I hammered it in and it felt about right. I found out afterwards that the bearing presses into the metal gear of the hammer section, so it's stronger than I thought, but it's not supported in this cutaway and it did feel like it was flexing there. The next problem was the carbon brushes. The top brush was worn about halfway, but the other was just a stump. It also had a broken shunt wire, which could be a problem if the current goes down the spring. Basically the spring heats up like a heating coil and loses its tension. I did find something close on alley. These are 6mm by 6mm by 20mm long, when I need 6.5x6.5x15mm 6 by 6 by long. I'm going to risk it being a bit loose in the guide, and I'm just going to cut the length down shorter. One thing you have to be wary of aftermarket carbon brushes is their hardness. I have bought non-compatible carbon brushes that machine the commutator down to a stump within a week. I tested the Bosch brush with a file and it seemed a lot harder than the AliExpress one, so I should be right there. I also had to cut down my shunt disc to a 6mm square so it would fit in the guide. At 15mm long it just fits. You can see the original brush is still at about 3 quarter length. And of course when I try to put it together the rear armature needle bearing falls apart so I'll have to repack that and put it back together. I oiled the bush and greased the gears and put it back together. And the output shaft is a lot better now. The hammer part seems okay. And the drill part seems okay. I'll use it for a while then take it apart and then we'll see how it's going. So that's about the end of that. <laughs>